Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst Lab 2 which is Deploy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So, what we'll do is, we'll see the how initialization Microsoft Defender for Endpoint works and then how you onboard a device, then you configure a role and then you configure the device groups. Okay, let me just uh, quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I'm logged on to the portal. For example, you are a security operation analyst working at a company that is implementing Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Well, your manager plans to onboard a few devices to provide insight into required changes to the security operation team response procedures. And you start by initializing the Defender for Endpoint environment. Next, you onboard the initial devices for your deployment by running the onboarding script on the devices. Then you configure security for the environment. Lastly, you create device groups, assign the appropriate devices. Right, so first of all, we have to initialize Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You have to go to security.microsoft.com and then you will log in with your username and password and then you will see this portal. Now, on, when you are onto this portal, you have to click on settings. Here you will see on the settings page, select device discovery. And dis discovery setup, make sure that standard discovery is recommended and is selected. Now, if you do not see the dis device discovery option under settings, you need to log out by selecting the top right circle and your account initials and then select sign out from here. All right. And then other options would be that you need to refresh the page or try it with the private window. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I hope this will work. Make sure that you discovery setup is standard discovery and recommended it enrich device information and discover even more devices by using smart active device probing. Now, when you need to onboard a device, first is that you initialize the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint discovery, and then you onboard a device. Again, you have to be in security.microsoft.com and then under settings, you click on endpoints. When you click on endpoints, you have to select onboarding. Under device management, you see this option onboarding. Click on it. It says select operating system to start the onboarding. Well, you can also perform device onboarding from the asset sections. If you see, uh, you would also have the asset section here. You click on it. You, you expand the asset section, you see the device. Computer and mobile network devices. And then when you'll scroll down, we didn't find any device that match your query. There is an option to onboard, onboard the vendor for ID or upgrade your vulnerability management, not onboarded, networks devices, IoT devices. If you go back, endpoints, onboarding, you see the onboarder device. It says local script for up to 10 devices. You have a group policy. You have Microsoft endpoint configuration management, my mobile device management slash Microsoft Intune or VDI onboarding scripts for non-persistent devices. Now, in the onboarder device area, make sure that you select local script. I'm just doing it for this lab, okay? 
and it says Windows 10 or 11 you can select the operating system that you want to and then it will give you the script for that let's say if I do Windows Server 2016 or R2 then it will give me the script for that okay and then you will see under the downloads you click here, download installation package download the onboarding package you select download the onboarding package so the package will download okay I'll open up the zip folder and then you will extract so Windows Server 2012 R2 and 16 I'll see if I am able to log on to the azure.com is done or I'll use my portal as well and then I will log on and onboard this package onto that machine right so if let me just extract it and then come back okay I have this uh, VM created in my tenant and let me see if I'll be able to onboard this issue or not so this is my VM which I configured on the Azure and I will install that package here to onboard it onto the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Let it come up and I'll place the package here. So this is the package that I downloaded. I'll just extract it here. Here it is. Let me go on to the properties. I'll just say unblock apply okay let me just extract it again this is my script which I'll use to onboard I will see if I can place this file onto the desktop here here it is then I'll just right click on it I'll click on run as administrator I'll just type in Y or yes to confirm it says performing onboarding operations it is doing it on my Azure VM It will take some time, it says starting the service if not already running. Now when it will complete, I would see a message in the command screen that would say successfully onboarded machine to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Till then, I'll have to wait. So I'll pause the video and come back. Okay, we see a message successfully onboard machine to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And now I'll press enter. it will be up now I will go back to the onboarding page from Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and we'll do a detection text test so if I'll just bring it down and I'll I just select my here and it is the script I click on copy And I will go back to that VM. I'll open up the command prompt. It, it's a little bit slow. I think I need to increase the size of this VM. I launched uh, the and I'll just go back. Command prompt. It says at the, pro at the prompt, copy and run the command below. The command prompt will close automatically. 
So I'll just go here. I paste it. Hit enter. See test. Let me see. Okay, paste it here. And Or I'll do and hit enter. Okay. I was running it on the PowerShell command prompt. Maybe it was the execution policy that was stopping it. But when I ran it on the admin command prompt, it closed out uh, automatically. Now, if I go back to my portal and if I go on to the under assets I click on devices I have this VM my test Acer VM that I created in Azure and you so this Microsoft 365 Defender is on a different tenant right it's on Acer 199 and the VM that I created it's on a different uh, tenant Right. So you can onboard your VM by following the script or uh, group policy, but you have to, you know, plan it accordingly how you want to do it. So this is the VM. If I click on it, it is onboarded. No alerts as of now. All right. So this was it. In the next video, I'll I'll show you how to configure roles and how to configure device groups. Okay. I hope you liked this video, and this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.